Yesterday was wild, definitely a day for the books. In the crypto world, we saw UST depeg from a dollar and fall approximately 40%. We saw a coordinated attack. Luna got slammed. Bitcoin and pretty much everything got slammed. We're going to go over what may have happened and why UST was depegged. There may have been a coordinated attack and it was just nasty yesterday. A ton of people got liquidated. It's still currently trading under a dollar so a lot of people have bought this up with um, the idea of it getting back to a dollar so let's get right into this and in how UST has uh, been depegged and has been attacked so Let's start with Do Kwon. About a month ago, uh, two months ago, he said UST with $10 billion in BTC reserves will open a new monetary era of the Bitcoin standard, P2P electronic cash that is easier to spend and more attractive to hold. And UST was very popular for, you know, loaning, um, borrowing, and doing a lot of different DeFi things on uh, the Lunaterra network. So if we go to Anchor Protocol, which is one of the most popular popular um, protocols on the Terra network, you can see approximately $8 billion locked up. If you go to earn, you could earn approximately 18.5% um, APY, which is just crazy. You don't find much asset uh, vehicles to give you to deliver that. And you can see right here, I was doing this for a tutorial, I had $102 in UST. But if you went to go trade that right now, I'm actually down, so if I go 102, I'm actually at a loss from my initial $100 uh, uh, investment. And people are probably stabling and selling their crypto assets into Terra USD without fully understanding what it is or, you know, depositing onto Anchor Protocol or the other hundreds or thousands of protocols out there and now at a total loss. So this is the Bitcoin address uh, for Do Kwan for Terra, Loon, for Terra Luna, LFG, I'm assuming. And you can see here that they bought a bunch of Bitcoin, 42,530 total, and then they started deploying it and you can see their total loss loss 500 million dollars but i don't think that's um the least of their worries right now so let's go into what may have happened so i'm going off this on twitter this has been circulating this image right here and you can see the citadel borrows 100k so who is a citadel they are a leading alternative investment firm that transforms powerful ideas into action every day and you can see right here um from this tweet, it says the answer to who is behind the UST Luna attack is located inside the Genesis trading loan book. A little birdie has already leaked their name, uh, which is Doe was offered to buy BTC at a discount for UST. He took the bait. So he did an OTC offer for a billion dollars to swap UST for BTC. And let's go and see what happened. So what the rumor is on crypto Twitter is that the Citadel borrows 100,000 Bitcoin, trades 25,000 Bitcoin for UST, opens a short, starts dumping 75,000 Bitcoin aggressively. Once Bitcoin reaches 30,000, they start dumping UST to make it lose its peg. Now, Quan is forced to sell 25,000 Bitcoin at a major loss to recover the peg. And just imagine how much fear this is ensuing. There's massive, you know, stop losses being uh, triggered, people panicking and just adding to this fear. So if this is true and they were shorting this the whole way and added to the 40% dip in UST, they must have made a killing. Um documentary worthy for sure and there's going to be more information released definitely later um, and we'll find out what really happened most likely so then we can see uh, the loss to recover the peg further dumping the price of bitcoin meanwhile citadel is shorting the whole way through and was this set up potentially to bring regulations to stable coins because you can see that yellen mentions that ust a report just this morning um, in the Wall Street Journal that a stable coin known as Te Terra USD um, experienced a run and had declined in value. And um, well, so it, I, I think that simply illustrates that this is a rapidly growing uh, product and 
um, that there there are risks to financial stability, and we need a framework that's that's appropriate. I uh, I would note that there was a report just so. Was this all done to bring regulations to stable coins, to crypto markets? There's so many wild theories, um, and it's 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 hard to exactly figure out what happened. Um, but take a look at this. I was watching this live yesterday, uh, breaking down, and you can see that at one point, a Binance book is empty. Never seen that before. They ran out of buyers. I believe even Binance capped the selling. You couldn't sell under the 0.7, the 70 cents. So they capped selling. I'm not sure um, how legit that is. And uh, I saw a bunch of people actually borrowing UST a few days before on crypto Twitter and I'm like okay I should definitely do that but I didn't do it as quick I didn't think it would break down as quick as it did and it was insane seeing what went down yesterday so you can see Do Kwon close to announcing a recovery plan for UST hang tight didn't mean to be so quiet needed razor focus to deliver thanks everyone for the support so if we take a look at the UST price right now yesterday um, would have been a great time to buy you saw a uh, 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 pretty much a 40% decrease in UST, which should have been at a dollar. And then it it recovered pretty quickly, in my opinion. It, I did not jump onto the um, trade because I thought it was a bit risky. And a lot of people thought it was going down straight to zero because they ran out of Bitcoin to kind of sell to um, prop this up. So where else are they going to get the liquidity? Maybe they just wash their hands and they walk away. But I am going to share a thread at the end of my Luna price prediction and my Luna T, my quick Luna TA that goes on to, you know, the future of Luna in UST. So stick around, stick around for that if you do care. Getting into the Luna TA, first of all to note, it is super oversold. It is the most it's ever been oversold um, since 2019. And if we take a look right here, so um, almost the bottom, it grinded out for quite a while till it worked its way back up. But yesterday we saw a dump. And if we look at from the top all the way to the bottom, about 80% to the current, about 73%. But in just one day, we fell 52%. Luna got smashed yesterday. My heart goes out to everybody holding stacking Luna and they're in a tough position because first of all, UST is still not back at the dollar. So if you put your whole portfolio into stables and if it was UST, you are down approximately 9%, um, which is never good for a stable holding. Uh, and now you have to believe, trust in, in UST never doing that again after it's fell 40% because in no, like I would never be comfortable holding a stable coin that could fall 40% or 50 or 60%, but that's the risks you take on. So I'm more comfortable holding USDC or USDT or even DAI or BUSD. So I'm looking for a good trade against Luna USD. I would be looking for uh, a reversal. Right now, it's still in a very, very um, risky area for you to take a trade, for you to start, unless you're dollar cost averaging Luna, but I would just recommend doing that for Bitcoin. If you wanted to take some high risk play right here, you can buy, um, you can start buying slowly, but I like to use the four and nine EMA, and you can see when they give you a golden cross after such a large dump, like here or something like that, and you can see as well, I'm gonna go on the Bitcoin pair because I'm gonna trade Bitcoin into Luna, and the, the chart's a lot more cleaner in my opinion, but um, after it consolidates somewhere down here, or even goes lower, we are gonna get the golden cross, and that's when I would buy. I would wait for a reversal, I would wait for the market structure of the downtrend to get invalidated and for an uptrend to um, present itself. But right here, with the, how Luna works, I'm not so specific on how the burning works with UST and Luna, but if UST keeps falling, Luna will keep falling as well. Um, and we're waiting for Do Kwon's, uh Twitter, his, his tweet announcement, his Twitter announcement to see what they're going to do. But more than likely, they're going to prop it up to a dollar. And I'll share that on the thread 
at the end of this video let's go to luna btc because there's a more like conviction play for myself there you can see that um let me get this ema i didn't think we would fall break past this 200 ema on the daily because we've held it pretty nicely previous times you can see right here i'm kind of looking for the same thing i'm looking for the four or nine to give me a cross so i can get into a nice buy this almost was like an ascending triangle and it bounced off the moving average here here as well you see a divergence with the rsi which is the rsi moving higher uh, with higher highs higher lows while the price is moving in a downtrend with lower lows and lower low lower lows and lower highs and then you got the four and nine crossover so that was an awesome buy which was very profitable uh approximately a hundred percent so i'm gonna wait for the same setup the rsi is extremely oversold on this pair on the luna bitcoin pair it's extremely oversold i'll wait for the moving averages to catch up the four and nine and i'll just be very patient here before buying because there could be a lot of chop here you can see how this high wave candle um the spread is large so if you're using a stop loss um it's just too massive it's too risky right now and especially with uh the state that's 68 percent um from bottom to top and especially the the state that ust is in it would be too risky in my opinion to just buy luna um blindly i'm waiting for a trading setup i can go into smaller time frames and i can buy uh using those so uh, I'm just going to stay patient and buy on larger time frames and just cool off, let the market cool off. Going to the end thread, this was retweeted by Orion Money and that's what caught my attention. So lots of chaos at the moment, hard to comprehend what's going on. Here's what to make sense of the current Terra Money situation. UST peg will be restored. So let's take a look at UST peg again. Um, it's currently at 91, 0.91. So you have a approximately 8.5 percent to make if you decide to buy ust right now and it does get restored um and then the lfg org has saved terra which is the luna foundation guard so a quick thread to end the video terra has sustained some kind of economic attack which we went over details aren't available yet but it's clear the powerful forces are attempting to make profit by destabilizing ust there's also this rumor that justin sun is um well he's releasing an algorithmic stable coin but he um did this so people would go from ust from terra luna to tron and um there was a lot of talk about there's so many rumors it's hard to know exactly what happened but make no mistake ust peg will absolutely recover so that's an easy 8.5 percent if you take action right now lfg and stable quan and team will do whatever it takes they're incredibly rich and high iq people they're working to restore the ust peg in the most strategic way possible the story of these events is not a story of defeat but rather a victory lfg org had the foresight to accumulate a forex reserve which was partially deployed yesterday lfg is valiantly defending the peg and safeguarding terra they are heroes i wonder how much money they're still up after you know taking a loss of 500 million dollars at minimum that's all we know from the bitcoin um I wonder how deep their pockets are. Fortunately, this attack happened when Terra was in a strong position. Looks like conditions in trade fine crypto may be getting worse this year. Good thing that Terra capitulation is happening right now and not the end of the year long bear market. Right now, the wheat is being separated from the chaff. Weak hands are folding, which makes Terra stronger. True lunat lunatics will make up the higher proportion of users once this is all over. The UST peg will be stronger than ever. And then the Terra ecosystem will continue to flourish. There's a plethora of new and amazing protocols ready to launch over the next few months each of these protocols is exciting and each adds something unique to the e ecosystem as an ecosystem terror is full of life and growth the decentralized economy on the terror blockchain is more robust diverse and interesting than ever admittedly the price of luna won't be as buoyant as it used to and the total supply of ust will contract but look at the history of btc and eth both had extremely painful contractions but they always came back stronger in the long run terror will be bigger than ever in the meantime we should all continue to enjoy this ecosystem and the unique prot protocols it offers and we should be thankful to to LFG org for defending the peg straight to the division of Terra decentralized finance needs decentralized money so what are your thoughts on that 
Is Terra in UST uh, Luna, is it truly decentralized if they have to have a centralized party buy Bitcoin and then a centralized party to sell it when it starts to get depegged? Um, there's a lot of factors you have to take into consideration. Also, do you think that it's good that um, it was mentioned today and there might be new regulations coming for stable coins? I think that regulations are good. After listening to a bunch of people in Bitcoin 2022 in Miami, that regulations will actually get new money into the market so let me know your thoughts about this are you in ust right now what are your thoughts about everything are you stacking up luna put it down in the video hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll see you guys tomorrow